Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and good, or hello and good evening everybody, uh, seems I got off on the wrong foot here, um, but yeah, um, like yesterday, I've got a whole new look, and um, I'll be talking more about it here later on, um, but like I said on yesterday's, um, if you guys like it or hate it, let me know in the comments, because um, it's, you know, if it's going to be too much of an eyesore, if you guys find it too offensive, etc., I mean, I, I'm not... I'm not doing this to be a jerk or anything. Um, like, but like I said, I'll probably explain more as the cast goes on. So, but anyway, um, for the music, I'll most certainly be talking more about this game here, but this is going to be uh, the soundtrack to Planescape Torment. So, but yeah, let me go ahead and get that fired up. And I still got to do kind of a quickie sound check on this. Okay, there it goes. And it's coming It's coming in my earphones just fine. Okay. So. Let's get started. So, speaking of that, um, for today's stream, um, it's, it's exactly what I did. It was... um. Just did me some Planescape Torment, and um, like yesterday, um, I basically got, I basically had some bad sleep. Although I slept a little better today than yesterday. Um, uh, my left arm was still hurt a bit. Um, still having a heck of a time trying to get comfortable. Um, and then not to mention, like yesterday, they really need to turn the heat on our apartment complex. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's nothing serious, like, or, you know, like, well, due, you know, due to inflation or due to the economy collapsing, we'll no longer be a lot, no longer be hitting the apartment complex, you know, this winter, or, you know, something like that, or, or, or if they do have, if they do allow heat this year, they're gonna, they're gonna charge us for it. Uh, added to our electric bill and all that when for the longest time we had a free heat so it didn't it didn't get tacked on to our electric bill or anything so like I said but like I said I'm hoping they're not doing that this year again times are tough you know inflation you know economy is going down the shitter you know so on and so forth But yeah, uh, like yesterday, I woke up, uh, woke up, started started streaming. It was uh, 65 degrees in here, so yeah, I've been on the chilly side. I had a, again had to wear jogging pants, socks, and a hoodie. But uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music down just a smidge. Yeah, it's a bit loud. Okay. So yeah. Um, but anyway, um, the stream went pretty good. Um, just I went I went ahead and started over though. Um, I did have a I did have my old save file from when I played uh I played uh when I played played three years ago. Yeah, I, I just I just remember the date, but yeah, uh, last I played was about three years ago. Um, I still have that. I think I made it through at least halfway through the game, but since I didn't, uh, I would be if I went ahead and picked up where I left off. Um, I don't know where my head was at three years ago, so I just. I just went ahead and started all over again. Um, but uh, I didn't, which would, which was actually a good, it's actually a good thing I did. Um, just learn a thing or two more, or um, hang on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to regather my thoughts. They just kind of scattered and fell apart. Oh, um, one thing, uh. There was a there was a character on there that I encountered who refers to himself as 
this one. And it just kind of it just kind of hit me like a shot. There was a in Final Fantasy 14, there was a there was a race in there called the Sylph. They refer to themselves that way too. Like they don't have like individual names. It's like they're all one consciousness, so they all refer to themselves as this one. Um Devora from uh, Mortal Kombat uh Mortal Kombat's 10 and 11 was the same thing too. She's she's like the uh She's the queen of her hive, and, and she refers to herself as this one. So, I can't help but think that, uh, that, uh, Planescape Torment was, was one of, if not the first game to come out with this concept. When they, um, when they kind of refer to themselves in the hive mind point of view, for lack of a better phrase. So, I found that pretty interesting. Um, and then, um, I kind of said this yesterday, too. In fact, I'm probably going to be repeating my... In case anyone hasn't noticed, I'm probably going to be repeating myself a lot. For at least this part, anyway. Um, but yeah, um... But... Okay, once again, I lost my train of thought. So... So, yeah, but, um... But yeah, revolutionary as hell game though. So there's there's a there's a fair amount of first in this. Uh, like I said yesterday, the Stanley Parable, the the um the the playthrough that I'm that I just got through watching, it is rife with it. I mean, I mean they took a I mean they they took a lot of cues from uh, Planescape Torment, like the way they are. Uh, the way they do their, you know, the story narration and stuff like that. Um, sometimes even, you know, even the game design. You know, what you're supposed to do and stuff like that. And, you know, you know interactions and choice, etc., etc. Yeah, plain, I mean, Planescape's got it all. So. Very influential game. So. But... But like, like I also like I said yesterday, um, one drawback at uh, looking at my stream stats, it kind of confirmed this. But people, people for the most part, don't want to sit around and read. They want to watch a streamer who's doing like action-oriented content. You know, they want to, you know, they want to see a stream that's fairly active. Which again, Planescape Torment doesn't really have a whole lot of that. Uh, again, most, most of that game is reading. Like, I said it yesterday, it was, um, uh, it's basically a vision, it's a glorified visual novel. There it's a, it's an interactive book, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink. But, um, as for tomorrow, um... Most likely, um, it's probably gonna be some more. It's probably gonna be probably gonna be Planescape Torment again. But like I said, it just. Oh, I, let me rewind back a little bit. I was, um, I was trying to explain a little further on my stream stats. Um, I actually had a fair revolving door. Like, pe I mean, people were checking me out, but they weren't sticking around long. Like I said, I don't, I don't think they're a fan of all the reading. So, so, yeah, but like, I, so, so again, now to the fast forward to right now, um, tomorrow, I'll probably be playing a uh, playing Planescape Torment again, but I don't see me playing it for like a super long time. So, but it, it's kind of, I'm kind of stuck in the middle on that, um. There's uh, cause there's, I mean, there's so much stuff in that game, especially on the on the dialogue front. I mean, the aforementioned this one character, that's just one example of many. That's just one that I can remember right now, or that that I actually remember while putting this cast together. But I mean, that game has a ton of firsts. You know, a a lot of 
You saw it here first type of moments. So it just, the game's kind of in this really weird place. I, I, I don't want to, I mean, the game's too, to me, it's too important to just do like a let's play video and upload it. I think the game deserves better than that, but at the same time, nobody wants to stick around to watch somebody stream it. Because, once again, there's a lot of reading involved. Um, or maybe... Maybe if I get a wild hankering to do it, maybe... Maybe I'll play the Stanley Parable. There's like a... I think there's a new expansion. New expansion for uh, Stanley that came out. I might check that out, but uh, again, a lot of... Uh, again, I watched this whole gameplay video of it. So that's basically one big spoiler right there. I Kind of kind of not much point in, uh, in, kind of not much point in playing the game now when I already know how it ends. Or let me rephrase that, when I already know the whole multitude of endings that that game has. <laughs> There are a lot. <laughs> but otherwise, that's that on that. Um, and then um, I did manage to get a pinball session going. Uh, specifically FX3. Um, I didn't didn't get around to playing any pinball arcade. Uh, just kind of kind of running behind. It's a new matchup week So just got on that um, as far as the tables go um, Surprisingly doom and Wolverine while they're not They're not completely not conducive for uh, for uh, for matchups, but they're not ideal either, but surprisingly I actually, um, I actually beat the high scores on both of them. And, uh, X-Men? X-Men's actually the, um... I, um, up until recently, I actually had a fairly easy time beating the high scores on X-Men. But, this time around, um, possibly due to input lag, that's my first guess, I just couldn't do diddly squat on it. Um, Archer? Not a... Not a very conducive table to um for matchups because you gotta you don't get hardly any points at all for making combo shots and um the modes are kind of a pain in the butt to the modes are kind of a pain in the butt to get because the the shot um the shots the the table is almost as bad as uh if you guys ever heard of this table bone busters it's basically a clusterfuck of ramps and bumpers and whatnot but but archer is kind of like that as well it's like the oh, here I'm, I'm still thinking on that I mean, the shots themselves aren't that difficult to get but uh i think the problem is is you have to make a lot of them you have to make a lot of them in a row just to start a mode and even then n um not all the modes you get are going to be, uh, are going to be very worthwhile. Like, you want to start a mode that uh, requires you to hit flashing shots, but, uh, not every mode on there has it. A good chunk of them are video modes, so... And then, uh, in Doom, kind of the same thing. I think Doom, you're going to... Oh! That's what I was wanting to say. With uh, Doom and X-Men, um, making the skill shot is a requirement. You have to make it. Just just to stand a chance. So you can you, you can uh, you can use passive upgrades on your tables. Um, I have the I have mine set to skill shot upgrades. Like if you make it, you get double the points. So yeah, I got. So yeah, I got that set on Doom and X Men. So like I said, you have you have to make the skill shots. But on the upside, they're not too hard to hit. 
So, but, but, but once again, he, they're, they're man, skill shots are mandatory on those tables. Um, Wolverine, basically, how can I put this? Combo shots are fairly friendly. Um, the ramps and loops aren't too hard to hit, but like the Spider-Man table, you don't want to go, you don't want the ball in the bumpers because that's going to eat up a lot of the clock right there. Um, there's something else about Wolverine I was wanting to say. Oh, and um, you also want to avoid the uh, left and right loops until they're flashing. You'll you'll know they're flashing. You'll you'll see uh, you'll see Wolverine's arm and his uh, his uh, his arm and his claw. They'll be up. One or both of those loops will be flashing. Then you want to then you want to aim for the loops. Otherwise, with, if they're not lit. The loops take you straight to the bumpers, where again, you're gonna lose a lot of time. So. But anyway, um, as far as uh, today's results, I actually did pretty good. Like I said, um, I beat Doom, I beat Wolverine. In fact, uh, I think I beat the, I beat uh, two of the high scores on Doom. So that set me ahead quite a bit. So like last week, I think I'm gonna be stable. The, the rest of the week. I might still have to check back from time to time, but I think uh, I think I'm good to go for a week. And then uh, once again, I didn't um I didn't play any pinball arcade. I just never got around to it. So so I'll maybe maybe tomorrow I'll maybe tomorrow I'll play arcade. Otherwise, that'll do it for that subject. And then, um, I kind of forgot to mention this yesterday, but, uh, for my work week, I am off tomorrow. Um, I requested Wednesday off a few weeks ago. Or, I requested it off a few weeks ago, and I got it. So, so, like I said, um, yeah, so off Wednesday, still got to work off Thursday and Friday. So, kind of the same week as last week, except last week, I ended up calling in on Wednesday this uh, this week I actually requested the day off so. sure wish I had my old schedule back you know 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. Wednesday Thursday Friday I mean what I, I mean what I've been stuck you know, what I've been stiffed with now is basically unsustainable But no, they're gotten ours. I was wanting to say on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. Okay, so this is gonna be my behind the scenes part. Um, whenever, uh, whenever I learn something new about uh, making, about making content, making videos, etc., um, I'll I'll do a behind the scenes portion and talk about what I learned. So and it also gives people a chance that uh, if um, if they don't want to see how if they don't want to see how my uh, how my videos get made, I mean. Not like it's not like it's really hard to figure out or anything, but you know you get the idea. Um, you know, so if they don't want to see how I make these, they can, you know, they can, they, you know, they can go elsewhere. You know, I mean, which which I'm, I'm kind of I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm the same way at times. You know, if I watch a really great movie, I don't always want to, you know I don't always want to see the behind the scenes part of it. I I there's times where I actually don't want to see how it's made. You know, so I'm I'm like that too. So, but anyway, for those, um, but yeah, once again, what I do on these is, again, whenever I learn something new, some aspect about making videos, I'll talk about it here, so. And then, but one thing is, uh, everybody noticed, is everybody noticed, 
Um, I've got a whole new look. I said this at the start of this video. Um, the, um, I originally called it scrapbooking. Um, but technically it looks more like bulletin boarding. You know, post stuff on a bulletin board. And, um, I talked about, I think, um, I answered a, a YouTube comment this morning saying I might, I might try making thumbtacks, which, as you guys probably saw during the cast, I did just that. So, just, uh, just, I went ahead and, uh, I actually did a Google search, got lucky, found, uh, I found, uh, found a transparent, uh, transparent thumbtack, and there it was. So, just downloaded it and used it, but, um, you can change sizes and stuff. Oh damn! I just discovered that though. You can have the uh, you can have the you can have the thumbtack space in different directions. Oh damn! You can do that too. Okay. Okay. That's kind of good to know. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I mean, you can you can change sizes and stuff. Uh, but um, one draw, one huge drawback to this though is uh, it's gonna make things very tedious. I mean, let's let's go to pinball. Yeah, cause you got you got you got a uh, eight push pins on push pins. You got eight thumbtacks there. Six. You got a. Uh, you got 10 thumbtacks there. And, um... So, yeah, that means, uh... That means I got... That means I got, uh... I can have as many as 10. 10 of them here on my, um... Uh, my... My sources window. So, yeah, that's gonna eat up a lot of real estate down here. It's gonna be a lot of extra scrolling. It also means a whole lot of, uh... Or here, let me do this. I kind of, I learned this on accident. You just highlight the source like I did here and you can copy paste. Just like a, just like a regular notepad clipboard. So I can, I can copy thumbtack and then I'm hitting, I just hit a uh, control C and then hit control B. And we got another, so. And let's make another. And I'm hitting Control B for the C. Let's make another. So you can do them fairly quickly, and then I could push Delete. Of course, now the, the pop up. Of course, now the pop up pops up. You push Enter. So, but but like. Kind of going back to what I was saying too. It's gonna make uh, it's gonna make things very tedious. And um, also let me uh, let me go back to one of my other windows. And I actually had to do this when putting this cast together. I have to now uh, my setup is gonna is gonna kind of resemble a grid. I have to try to contort my uh, images now into into a kind of a grid shaped pattern. Just you know, to to kind of reduce the thumbtack usage. Because as you're seeing here, there's, I got freaking 10 of them. So, yeah, that's a lot of extra work right there. Um, and then uh, I'm pretty sure there's, uh, I'm pretty sure there's different colors too. There, it is, there isn't just red, you know, maybe I'll, I'll download some, uh, download a, a blue, a blue thumbtack, maybe white, black, purple, etc. But I can probably download, like, different colors. So. But, um, I guess what I was, what I'm trying to say is, uh, so far, I like the, uh, I like the, the bulletin board part. Um, and then the scrap, the scrapbook part, I'll talk more about that here in a little bit. But the real drawback, though, is the, uh, is the thumbtacks. Because I could be using a lot of them. And plus, again, I, it forces me to contort my images. 
to in a grid format just to try to make more efficient thumbtack usage. Here, let, let me. Yeah. You know, and I'm. You know, you could probably uh, and then. You could probably separate this image from the rest of them, but. That also means I have to put. I would have to put four thumbtacks here on all four corners. So. So, the thumbtack part of this is gonna be debatable. I. I might just go ahead and, um. I might just go ahead and do away with the thumbtacks entirely, but I don't know. I guess maybe if I have a whole bunch of images I'm going to put on one page, then I might just skip the thumbtacks entirely because that's just going to add a whole other level of tedium right there. And then, um, yesterday I mentioned scrapbooking, and I, I actually did this while putting this cast together at the very last minute. Um, I typed down a scrapbook background and this came up, uh, one of the options, I chose blue, but as you could kind of tell here, uh, yeah, no. I'm hoping you can see the image on the left. I'll just go ahead and uh, stretch it out a little bit. So anyway, but like I said, I'm hoping you can see the image on the far right. I think I said left. But yeah, no, a little too faggy for my taste. And then, um, and then there's this issue, this issue too. Um, some more than others, uh, dream time. It's, it's this, um, he's stock photo companies that just see it fit to stick watermarks on their images but like i said you got a bottom border here but if you look real close they'll stick a watermark right smack dab in the middle yeah again here you could just barely see it but they got watermarks uh diagonally all over this one here it really pisses me off I'm sure I could probably go down here, but then you got you got Shutterstock. Yeah, look at this shit. I mean, they got the bottom border, but you know, I could go on my paint program and easily cut crop that off. But you know, but they got a if you if you look real super close, they got a watermark right smack dab in the middle of the picture. So, yeah, you really got to contend with the um, stock image companies on this one. And in Dreamtime, I just said that, they they pull that shit too. Wrapping paper burnable. But, but otherwise, like, you know, like, like you guys are seeing here, not... Most of these uh, designs, these pretty pastel designs, not really my cup of tea. You know, I just want... Well, that one's a little hard on the eyes. Yeah, I'd have to snip off the bottom border. And here's, this is probably an extreme example right here. Um, I hope you guys can see it, but yeah, this. It pisses me off to no end when they do that. They'll stick a watermark like right smack in the middle. And th like I said, this one here is like 
blatantly obvious. There's, uh, I've seen other images that, uh, I know Shutterstock does it, Alamy does it. They'll have, like, a whole bunch of them, like, in a diagonal pattern. Like, all, and they'll, they'll paste the shit all over that image. Like I said, um, it seems I've been having the, mo the best luck, though, if I, um, let me go back. If I type down, let's just say, type down corkboard, corkboard background. I stock, I think they have. Uh, I'm not seeing a watermark on that one. But this is um this is what I was using yesterday. Yeah, uh, I'm not seeing a watermark. Deposit photos. Oh, I forgot all about this. Okay. And hover over windows. Yeah, here we go. Another bad example. They're, they got watermarks all over them. But I want to. I want to try something else though too. Blue corkboard background. Cool, they got it, but unfortunately, I got it. Like fucking really. And that's a pretty kick-ass looking background too. Too bad it's ruined by all the watermarks. That's definitely a keeper right there. But you you, got, you kind of get the idea though here. So of how I'm uh, of how I'm putting them together. So. And then um Hang on just a second. I I I forgot what I was wanting to say, but actually now that I think about it. Yeah, but that I think that's pretty much the idea I'm trying to do right there. Kind of like that, except with uh, thumbtacks. So. But yeah, um, that's that on that. So... Uh, but otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call it good. I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say today. And, and once again, um, if you guys like, if you guys like my new setup or hate it, I'm, you know, just, I'm, I'm open. I'm open to opinion. So just let me know in the comments. Um, but otherwise, once again, um, that's going to do it. So. Thanks for dropping in and or, yeah, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I, I once again, I'm off tomorrow, so I should be able to do another one of these uh, Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.